minute, wait a minute. I don't dress preppy all the time. Today, for instance, I have... Shut up, shut up, shut up. I think that Charles Boyer is the sexiest man in the history of movies. Clark Gable. John Wayne. John Wayne wasn't sexy. Of course he was. He was Mr. Macho. How about a pot of coffee? Sure, Duke. Thanks, Ali Rapal. If there's anything I can ever do for you, you just let me know. I will. I am. Is there a plumber in the house? Oh, yeah. What? The sink stopped up again. Really? Well, Ted just fixed that sink tonight. Well, that's okay. Are you sure he does this for a living? A wrench, wench. Isn't he cute? Adorable. Your tool, fool. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to flow up. How are you a cynic? No, just jealous. I promise you that someday you'll meet somebody and you'll be just as nauseating as us. I hope so. Wait a minute. Here's your problem. Somebody stuffed this in the sink. What is it? Oh, a piece of a washcloth. It's not ours. Who would do a thing like that? Does the name Chip ring a bell? Why would he stuff this down the sink? Because it's there. Oh, well, you're not going to throw it out, are you? Why not? Well, uh, it felt like there was something in it. It did? So that's what he does with his vegetables. I used to just spit them out in the toilet. <laughs> Wait a minute, there is something in here. Oh, my God. Is that a diamond ring? Oh, well, sure looks like one. What would Chip be doing with a diamond ring? He <laughs> wouldn't. Who else? Who fixed the sink earlier? Mm -hmm. Ted. So what would my nine-year-old son be doing with a diamond ring? Oh. Oh! Good night, Ali. Oh, good night. Oh. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Before I get too excited, am I right in thinking what I'm thinking, or is it just wishful thinking? I think we're engaged. I think so, too. Oh, let me see the ring. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Good night, Ali. <laughs> oh, the hell with it. You guys are going to have the rest of your life. I'm so excited. Oh. Oh. Now, good night. Oh. Good night, fiance. Good night, fiance. Just think pretty soon I'll be able to say good night, roll over, turn out the light, roll back again, and. Good night, fiance. Mm. You happy? Very. Good night, fiance. Hi. Hi. What are you doing up so late? I was thirsty. I'm so glad. Look. Wow, is it real? Yeah. A real diamond ring? Yeah, a real diamond engagement ring. You and Ted are engaged? Well, that's what a ring usually means. Oh, Mom! I can't believe it! Let me see. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thanks. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. But, Mom, if you guys get married, what happens to us? I mean, do we move to Brooklyn? I don't know. Well, do I have to call him Dad? No, you already have a dad. What happens to Jenny? I mean, does she stay here? Uh, I don't know. Do I have to change schools? Uh, I don't know. We've got a lot of time to work all these things out. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm so happy uh. for you. Allie, Allie, do you want to sleep or do you want to talk? Allie, wake up. What? Do you want to sleep or do you want to talk? What time is it? Midnight. I want to sleep. <laughs> My fiancé just left. I want to talk. Hey, Alzo. What did you think about the way that he gave me the ring? Well, I'm glad he's a plumber and not a doctor. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Yeah. I'm so glad that he proposed to me in front of you. Why? I don't know. It just seemed right. You've been there for all the great moments in my life. My first date, my first marriage, my first baby. Oh, and you've been there for mine. My first slip disc, my first anxiety attack, my first divorce. <laughs> And we're always going to be together, no matter what, right? Right. No matter what, what? Well, no matter if I marry Ted and move out. Oh. I know. I didn't think of it either until Emma just brought it up. Oh, you're not going to be sad, are you? I don't know. It's just that, you know, the two of us. This has been a pretty good year, you know? Yeah, for you. But the truth is, I never liked you anyway. Pal. <laughs> oh. And we knew this arrangement was temporary. Look at it this way. From now on, you'll be the neat one. <laughs> what about you? I got married first the last time. We're even. Yeah. Great. Yo, 
We'll see. Well, this is it. What do you think? I think I like the way you've decorated this room the best. Except for the wallpaper. Oh, well, this one we decorate together. This is Angie's room. Your mother's gonna live with us? No, no, no. Angie Jr. Well, that's Angelo or Angelina. Take your pick. I pick Edward or Julia. Oh, no, there's been an Angie in my family for the last six generations. Now, my sisters are spinsters. That only leaves us. You got something against the name, huh? No, no. It's just that I never really pictured myself with a little child named Angie. <laughs> well, we'll name the second one Edward and the third one Julia, okay? The third one? Uh -huh. I wasn't even really sure I was going to have one. Come on, take two. They're small. Uh, Dad. Uh, come here. Can we talk? Kiss now. Talk later. Idiot. Mm. Dad, Dad, we're here. Upstairs. It's unbelievable. They always catch me. It's like they have radar. Who? Oh, my sisters. You're about to meet Faye. Be prepared. Why? What's she like? Oh, like B, only more so. Oh! <laughs> he said you were gorgeous. Skinny, but gorgeous. Okay, this is Faye. Hello. <laughs> You're too good for him, but don't let it worry you. She's too good for you. I heard. Listen, you, go downstairs and heat up the lasagna I brought. Mm. I cannot figure out your stove. Okay. Go, leave us alone with our new sister-in-law. <laughs> go, before she hollers some more. Keep your dukes up, kid. Mm. So, was I right? Mm. Were you right? Look at that face. Is there something wrong with my face? Oh, no, not a thing. Not a thing. If I had a face like that, I'd own my own business years ago. I don't get that. Don't try. I mean, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with your face. Oh, you were right. She's a sweetie. <laughs> so, uh, when's the date? Well... We just got engaged last night. Oh, we knew about it weeks ago. <laughs> you did? Oh, of course. He told us all about your fairy book romance, chapter by chapter. And he uh, told you that we were going to have four children? Sure, you'll live here, have four kids, two dogs. Oh, and don't you worry about babysitters. We live around the corner. Babysitters, <laughs> oh, am I hungry? Uh, coming. Come on, come on, Kate, time to batten you up. Come on, get cold. Oh, quiet, we're just getting to know her. Angelina, Vincent, Rose, and Dominic. Ellie, Ellie, do you want to sleep or do you want to talk? Ellie, wake up. What? What? Do you want to sleep or do you want to talk? What time is it? About 2 o'clock in the morning. I want to sleep. <laughs> you know what I want? Not to get married! I want to talk. <laughs> but you love Ted. Yeah, but for how long? Forever, if you're lucky. What if I'm not? Well, why shouldn't you be? Well, I wasn't with Max. You and Max wanted different things. So did Ted and I. I never realized how different. He doesn't want me. He wants my mother. What happened? His sisters told me his fantasy about us. What was it? Father knows best with hollering. <laughs> you know, he wants to come home at the end of a hard day and find me standing there in an apron in front of a full pot of spaghetti with little Angelina, Vincent, Rose, and Dominic at my feet. You said you wanted kids. Kid, not a bocce team. Did you compromise? Yeah, well, we could live on a barge in the East River. Instead of four kids and Emma, we could have two and a half kids, but where do you send a half a kid to school? You know what this sounds like to Hysteria. Me? Typical case of bridal nerves. I bet you by tomorrow morning... No, actually... Later this morning, you're going to wake up and laugh about this whole thing, and then we can get ready and start planning your shower and your wedding and your honeymoon. My suicide, my funeral, my headstone. <laughs> Maybe by tomorrow you'll change your mind. Maybe by tomorrow I'll lose my mind. Hi. Hi. Coffee's too cold. How would you know you're drinking maple syrup? <laughs> He's too sweet. Did you get any sleep? No. You feel any better? No. My mom called. She gave me a message for you. What? Shut up and get married. No. <laughs> you still scared? No. Now I'm resigned. I stayed up all night thinking, and I know that I'm right. If Ted and I get married, sooner or later we'll resent each other for not having what we really want. But what about love? Allie, how long can somebody love someone when they make you unhappy? You can learn to love. You can learn to unlove, too. 
What are you gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down with Ted and have a long talk, and then I'm gonna slip my wrists. <laughs> he called before. He's coming over. Oh no, I can't talk to him yet. I can't. Why? I, I just, I have to get on my courage. Well, he won't be here for about an hour. Oh, I need more than an hour. I need a month, maybe even a season or two. Why don't you call him and tell him not to come over until tonight? No, I, I, I can't talk to him right now. Calm down and call him. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I really can't. Why? I can't talk to him because I can't breathe. Well, calm down. As soon as I can breathe. Then I'll calm down. You're hyperventilating. No joke. Sit down and I'll get you a paper bag. Here, breathe into this. There's bagels in that bag. Oh. <laughs> there. See, it pays to be the ex-wife of a doctor. Keep breathing, nice and easy. Is that better? No. I have some tranquilizers in the spice rack. Really? I don't take tranquilizers. I know you're not supposed to take somebody else's pills, but this is an emergency. Charles gave them to me before he left. I filed them. I filed them under the spice that most reminded me of the last years of our marriage. Chili. Oh, my God. You're not used to them, so take half. Hello? Hi, Mom. Allie, I don't take pills. Take half. Yes, I know, Mom, that in your day, marriage took precedence, but look, Mom, I really don't want to talk about this now. Can I call you back and we'll fight later? <laughs> Phone's free. Call Ted. Oh, give me a minute till the pills work. Pills? I told you to take half. I did. There were six. I took half. <laughs> you took three. I meant half of one. Did I take too many? Oh, coffee. Oh, no. Don't sit down. You'll never get up. <laughs> call Ted while you're still alert. Allie, I don't know why you're getting so excited. I don't feel anything, including the tips of my fingers. Keep walking. Oh, no, it's his machine. He's on his way over. What are we going to do? I'm going to take you upstairs and give you a cold shower. Oh, Allie. Come on. I found the smelling salts. Fine. And you? Oh, you're not walking. I knew I shouldn't have left you alone. Fine. And you? Wait a second. Okay, here. Smell this. Oh, Allie, you should not wear that. It's too strong for you. Oh. Ted's here. Hi, Ted! Sit up! Are sitting up? No. And when he comes in, don't say anything. Just agree and nod. You're in no condition. You can talk about it tomorrow. Don't worry, Allie. I'm not scared anymore. I'm not feeling scared at all. You're not feeling anything at all. Hi, Al. Hi, Ted. Hi, babe. How are you feeling? Fine. And you? Great. Mm. Dad? Sit down. Further down? I have something to tell you. No, you don't. No, she doesn't. Hmm? Yes, I do. Believe me, she doesn't. Dad, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Good. Ted. Is she all right? Does she look all right? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Ted, sit down. I'm still sitting. What is with her? Well, well, she was a little upset and she took something. Ted, I don't want to live on a barge and swim to work, especially if I don't have a job. I'm too old. Fair enough. What did she take? Tranquilizers. And it wouldn't be fair to Angie. And half a rose isn't a flower. How many pounds? Great. So that is why I won't be able to marry you. What do you mean you won't be able to marry me? You either. Ted, you've got to understand it's the pills talking, not Kate. Kate, Kate, you've got to marry me. Why? Are you pregnant? <laughs> Ted, marry my mother. She cooks spaghetti. <laughs> it's the pills. Pills or no pills, I'm starting to get worried. You two should talk about this later. Oh, wow. Were you always that tall? <laughs> Ted, go home. She will meet you there after she's had an infusion of coffee. Well, I don't know if that's going to help. Ted, this is getting you nowhere. Yeah, well, I have a feeling that's where we are. Ted? I'm up here. What are you doing? Thinking. In an empty room? No, I feel pretty empty myself. Did you mean it about not marrying me? Yeah. I'm in it. You mind telling me why? I thought you loved me. I do love you. 
And if love were enough, I'd marry you today. It is enough. For kids. We're not kids. Kate, the only thing that matters to me is how I feel about you. I'd do anything for you. I know. I know you probably would. That's why I have to be really careful with what I ask. Ted, I want you to understand what I'm going to say. You don't have to say it. It already occurred to me. What? You know, we're different kind of people. The lady and the plumber. No, we're not. We're the same kind of people. We're just at different places in our lives. I think I knew it all along. It's just that I was afraid to face it. Then, um, when I was talking with your sisters... Well, what'd they say? No, they just, they just told me what you told them. The same thing you told me, only I wasn't smart enough to listen. Well, what? Your dream. You know, the children, your wife at home, your home. It's a beautiful dream. If it's a beautiful dream, what's the problem? It's not my dream. I've already been through that. I loved it. But I didn't love enough to want to do it again. And I love you too much to keep you from it. Kate, I don't need anything but you. That's not true. You need a lot of things. Why do you think that you were sitting in this room alone when I got here? Trying to figure out what to do with it if it wasn't going to be a nursery. That's exactly my point. That's what this room is supposed to be. And if it's not, someday you're going to look over at me and you're